Luke Donald and Charlie Hoffman duked it out all day during round three of the RBC Heritage, but it was Donald who emerged as the leader heading into Sunday. He had the putter dialed in on Saturday and grinded his way to a two under 69 to pick up a one shot lead heading into the final round. Charlie was right there with him for most of the day, but closed his round bogey bogey to fall back into a tie for second. And Jason Day had a share of the lead heading into the third round, but things did not pan out for the number one player in the world. Yeah, the last two times Day has been at the top of the leaderboard after 36 holes, he has taken home the trophy, but on Saturday he fell 39 spots down the leaderboard after carding an 8 over 79. That's 10 shots over his second round score. And yes, golf is just flat out hard sometimes. Kevin Chappell also had a share of the lead coming into the day, and his reaction upon discovering his lie in the bunker on 15 was pretty priceless. We've all certainly felt that way, Kevin. And he was able to get it out of the bunker, but just barely, and it ended up in the rough, and he would go on to double bogey 15, and another one on 18 to fall back to T13. But don't worry, the guys were still having fun on Saturday. We saw Graham McDowell give us a mic check on Thursday, and so Billy Horschel gave us a little help with a camera that fell over during the third round. And then it's a bird, it's a plane, it's, oh yeah, no, it's just a plane. But it put on a show over the course during round three, and it kind of looks like Pat Kazire has literally never seen a plane before. Whoa! This thing is rumbling! All right, that's all I have for the takeaway. I'll see you right back here on Monday with a brand new trending on tour. So make sure to check back to PGATour.com.